Yo, what's up? Jackson is here and welcome to the channel. Yes, okay. You'll find me out on Radio 1 playing the best brand new music on a show called Future Artists, doing the chart show on a Friday. I want to use that here to be able to expand on that, pick up on big music topics, do first time reactions to big releases, uh, give you guys some tips for the future as well. There's going to be loads of stuff happening out here on the channel and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. I'm hoping to do some collaborations and stuff. Today is just going to be a short video, a little weather forecast, shall we say, for some of the best music that we know is coming in 2024. I want to put it on your radar. I want to talk to you a little bit about it and get us all excited. If you've got any that you know you're looking forward to maybe you're really hoping for some certain returns but we haven't got any news on yet let me know in the comments below all right let's dive into this hit the subscribe button drop me a like on my first video as well it's the forecast for 2024 first up skepta yes i am so very gassed for skepta to be returning it's been a minute 2019 since his last record ignorance is bliss 2016 since konichiwa the debut the album that just set the landscape free for British rap music. Such a game changer. I still listen to that thing back to front today. But he announced in an Instagram post that he is returning with a brand new album in 2024. And it's going to be interesting around what kind of music gets released. Here's the thing. Skepta's just come back with a house track called Can't Play Myself, sampling Amy Winehouse, Tears Dry on Their Own. Is he going to come back with a rap record or are we getting some electronic music from Skepta? Seemingly so far, just a passion project. Will it go any further into this new album? I mean, Skepta, you just got to listen to that debut, Konichiwa, to know that he's so versatile in his production. He likes to be really colorful with his rap music. I don't know whether we can expect another game changer as such from Skepta, but expect creativity to the absolute max. It's been a minute, he's going to be hungry. And he's coming back with that Big Smoke Festival as well. Watch out for the album Knife and Fork from Skepta. Next on the list, the internet. I'll be honest with you, there's not a whole load to say around this. Merely the internet just posting pictures of them back in the studio on Instagram. Clearly teasing something, clearly getting us excited for the return of music in some way, in some capacity. Could it be this year? I have no idea. I really hope they return in 2024. Bring me the horizon, fans. I think it's probably fair to say that you can start getting excited for a body of work from this band. It's been an interesting period of time. I mean, it's been a couple of years of them teasing these kind of post-human survival horror EPs in some capacity. There was going to be a number of them and there has been a number of releases, just not in a kind of project capacity at all. I'll be honest, I think Jordan moving on from the band is probably going to free up them to go down the route of wherever they want to go. Get hyped for new Bring Me. Number four, Dua Lipa. Released Houdini at the end of last year, the first single from this new album, which is confirmed to be coming in 2024. We just don't know exactly when. Teaming up with Kevin Parker, of course, of Tame Impala on that track. And that felt like a really nice progression on from the last record, Future Nostalgia, which was throwback funk in the way that it was put together. And I don't know whether Houdini is the big hitter, honestly. That is merely just a heater just to warm your hands in front of before the good stuff really comes in 2024. Okay, I know I said that I was proper hyped for Skepta. I'm also proper hyped for the final album in the trilogy of records from Flo Millie. She's very US centric at the moment, but she is one fat hit away from going worldwide takeover. The reason I love her so much, bags of personality in character, so much diversity in beat production as well. I mean, she can do the kind of like sugar sweet party bag pop thing on Fruit Loop, but then do a track like Chocolate Rain, for example, which is like Timberland meets Nine Inch Nails. She's got it all. And I really think this third record from Flo Millie is going to be a banger this year. And the final album on my list comes from Thames. The follow-up to her debut for Broken Ears, released four years ago, but she's a totally different artist now. Collaborations with the likes of Beyonce, Drake, Future, Wizkid. She is a big name in the world of Afrobeat. And that latest track that she released at the end of last year, Not An Angel, oh my God, that is a Dunner. So those are the six albums that you can get excited for in 2024. Thank you so much for checking out the first video of the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Do me a favor, hit the like button as well. And if you're excited for any of those releases that I was just talking about there, or you've got any that you've got the intel on, maybe there's some you're really hoping for. Let me know down in the comments. It'd be good to hear your opinions and thoughts on things. Have a great week. See you soon.